how are you going to take so many biting the lip selfies? <laughs> Whilst he has a wife, he, he's a good child. Yeah, it's kind of a half guys. I saw him once or twice at the West End. <laughs> and Emma Stone was in that front of her. Legs, yeah. Anyway, um, I don't like this photo. It no. makes me, into, out of the three, I would say it probably makes me probably the most uncomfortable. Because the thing about, spoiler alert, the next two people are Liam Payne and Drake, they are actually kind of attractive. Ew. Uh, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> so the fact that he's the worst looking and almost has the most sexual pose is just he's so kind of, he's so coy. I think that's what it is. It's such a like cutesy little selfie. No, but also the costume. I've never seen Hamilton. I have no desire to see it, by the way. It's Oz. Like, it just doesn't Sounds like someone who couldn't get the tickets. <laughs> okay, so now we've got Liam Payne. Uh, in the middle. Anyone familiar with him? Mace what? Mace what? Okay. Someone has taken the sauces to my The thing about Liam Payne is, as a One Direction stan, I'm obviously familiar with his work. Yeah. And I'd say, in the moments that I strayed from Harry or Niall... Niall? Niall? Yeah, that's not a really passport. <laughs> like, you've got to support your own. Um, I would defect to Liam. However, the problem is more of his obviously post One Direction days. Is anyone familiar with the strip that down yeah. dancing yeah. video? Yeah, yeah. It's the best one. Even though, if I'm being honest, I think his main flaw is his personality, and I know that's really mean, but like, I kind of think that it's obvious. True. And he was engaged to a 19 year old. And he was engaged Who's to Cheryl Cole. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, she's not Cheryl Cole anymore. Cheryl. Cheryl Tweedy. Period. And then she had bad pain as well. well they, they both had bad pain. Yeah, but how much is Liam C. Bear? It's like a fair amount in between <laughs> Logan Paul podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how would I get the Logan Paul podcast? Yeah. Um, what was it? If you, uh, if you don't remove those hands, you're going to lose them. <laughs> <laughs> Three losers three in that time. <laughs> what are you talking about? I know, literally. How, why is he even invited to the Oscars? I think it's a seat filling thing. Yeah. Like, I think this goes well. We're going to be the Oscars people. Yeah. 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 Okay, next one, Aubrey. Oh, I mean, a classic of goes. He's no. The one thing I will say about him is I'm a bit of a champagne puppy stand, so I'm going to have to defend him just a little bit. The one thing we all, I mean, come on, secretly, no. everyone loves Drake. No, girls, you're lying in the back. Yeah. <laughs> we are on a nice walk right now. We have bloody dance If you want your purse, it's literally <laughs> not I mean, come on. I think the thing about Drake is he's mean to himself. Yeah. Because yeah. you know he posted the thing about, um, like, Yasa supply Drake, the other yeah. Drake. Yeah. But he's posted it. So I think, in a way, he's slightly aware of it. I think so. Does that make it better or worse, though? I don't know. I mean, just like loads of bitches. He proposed to what? 32 people? And he's what, what, what it? A room of burgers. And his wife. And she's sitting she's here. here. Like, she's like, I'm gonna say that. And his bed is made of horse hair. I don't really get what the horse hair thing has to do I think it's just it. layers of horse hair. Like a, um. Is it like a luxury thing? I think so. It's like a violin bow. You know, like they're made of horse hair. Yeah. Um. I guess, should we. I think there's actually. Criminal sat in the audience, possibly. Someone who's maybe taken his <laughs> side. He agreed to participate. Yeah, so we did. We did have a consensual participation. I found this on my phone, actually. Yeah, so I think that's even worse. It was a dry by self. Yeah. I specifically asked you to take photos of us, and yeah, I find this monstrosity in my camera. <laughs> One step away from the next run. Yeah, no, I don't know what that is. It's kind of like, you know, I'm not bothered. I'm just taking a selfie. Yeah. What else? Yeah, I guess maybe what's your opinion on the selfie on the dating profile? Because I would say that's kind of the place, the most common place for the male selfie. See, I think that it's a fact of life that they're probably it's true. Yeah, yeah. That takes a selfie. Would you prefer a mirror selfie or a normal one? I think a normal one because you could kind of justify it and be like maybe there was something in the back, like maybe they were at Everest or something. Oh. They were trying to get it in the back. 
Would you prefer if it was like, yeah, oh my god, the Looney Tower of Pisa is in the background? Yeah, because it's slightly justifiable as to why you took it. But if it's just like all you in your house, it's like, <laughs> so you were feeling yourself that day? <laughs> or, I think I would prefer that. What about the mirror selfie with the grey trackies? I mean... I wore the black and I texted when we painted to the grey. Yeah. Um, I would say get that off your profile, it's yeah, too sexual. I would say too, yeah. Okay, so what are your thoughts on men taking selfies, people? Love or hate? Hey. 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 Hey.
it's so delicious. If you haven't tried it, oh my god. Even if a dessert, like a babe or something, but I, I think it's even better, honestly. Yeah, I guess going on that wave, past me, it would have been a mid fuel pod. Like a, in a dark time, it would have been a mid fuel pod. But you would have gone through in an hour. hour. Literally, <laughs> exactly. It would be very accurate because we would only be able to trace things to the hour. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's it's more accurate. You, and could, you could leave like a Hansel and Gretel style, like breadcrumb <laughs> trail of jewel pods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is so true. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut this from the recording because my parents are gonna listen to Spotify. Sorry, guys. I tell you, the stuff that we talk about on the radio show, and yet they can't know that you jewel. <laughs> dirty habit, dirty, dirty habit. I would also put a note saying, like, either with your phone number or something, but in like Maybe. a miscellaneous thing to be like, still did it. I think that would be really funny. Oh, <laughs> nice. I think I do quite well in prison, though, so I don't even worry about that. <laughs> I need to look good in the grave, grave tracky mirror. <laughs> <laughs> tracky mirror selfie. In, in prison. Oh, oh my god, I love prison TikTok, so I really encourage that. I do too. When they make like the um, like they make dinner, but everything is either a chalky base. Oh yeah, or crushed ramen. Yeah. Okay, but it's kind of weird how you only ever see prison TikToks from America. Like, can they just not get phones into like UK prisons? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they should try harder. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they, they probably do have phones. I've never been, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, should we move on? Yeah, I think we've rounded this one out quite well. Yeah. Boom. Oh, this. Oh okay. This is so good. I would have to stipulate, I don't hate this. Because I think if you have money and power, it is your moral imperative to dress up crazy on yeah. Halloween. What yeah. power does Tiger have? <laughs> <laughs> So do you think it's a bit of an ironic thing? Damn, I did not think that deeply into it. I, I thought you were going to think that he played the bear, which he doesn't. It's actually Ben Whitshaw, so. Oh, no, I knew that. Okay. Because so that's why Paddington's gay. What? what? Ben, ben Whitshaw <laughs> is gay, henceforth, the <laughs> power of development of Paddington's gay. I think Paddington's more... Jolly. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think of him as... Well, I think he would have Oh, was. so you were just assuming he's straight, right? Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. Any heteronormative things on Paddington. Anyway, then we've got uh, M. Ratta as Marge Simpson. I think this fits quite well into her narrative, you know, her book, My Body, it's all about sort of feminism and sexualization. And I think Marge Simpson fits like amazingly well into that sort of zhuzh. Like, sexualization? So uh, girl, there are like sexy Marge edits. Do you think? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, like, how are you gonna have a show go on for like 25 years and like no one fancy the main character? Well, she's not the main character, but she's not. Do you do you think that honestly? I mean, I know I'm that saying literally hand on heart. I believe there are people who have done like nefarious things whilst watching The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. How do you know? I really <laughs> love The Simpsons. <laughs> yeah. No, I get that. I think yeah. the family guy specifically as well. Yeah, true. Good. I guess. Family guys a bit more crude. Oh my god, did you ever see that picture where it was like the ladies of the past? And it was like the <laughs> Sorry, it's like a picture that someone's drawn and it's like a sexed up version of like Marge Lois. What's Alex? What's um Cleveland Brown's wife called? Who? Cleveland Brown's wife. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then like uh, the wife from um, American Dad and like and it's just them like strutting their stuff. <laughs> so is it a fan edit or is it like? It's a, I think it's a fan edit, but it's like a scarily accurate fan edit. Really? I kind of thought they would be like Fox trying to prove their like feminist like 
No, it's like really overly sexualized. Oh. That's weird. Where did you come across that? <laughs> and it's like, oh, I've just seen the picture. I just saw the picture. <laughs> I just saw it. I did just see the video in all honesty. But no, I mean, that's fascinating that we got to there from M. Ratter as Marge Simpson. <laughs> anyway, this final photo of the person as Voldemort, I actually don't know. You know who it is. Yeah. But I do not know who it is. It's Joey King. What the fuck? It's Joey King and Voldemort. Do you guys know Joey King? Yeah. Do you know Joey King? Oh my oh, god, she's like girl and bullet train. Have you seen Bullet Train? Have you seen Ramona and Beezus? Has you have you seen Crazy Stupid Love? Have you seen Oh my god, she plays the like bald girl whose like mum is like yeah. crazy yeah. and like Gypsy Rose Mum child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who no, gets mum chanced and then she murders her her mum. Also, um, um, the kissing booth. The kissing booth. Yeah. The kissing booth is the awfully one. Terrible film. So I've only seen two or three. Oh my god! But Joey King's quite in vogue at the moment. A la Bullet Train. There are rumours that she is having an extramarital affair with one Aaron Taylor Johnson. People. Oh it literally free him from the shackles of that granny. That woman. <laughs> He had a wife! Oh, they went together since they were 17, so it's not rude that I'm calling her a granny, I don't think. It's yeah, like she was like 17. Oh no, he was 17, she was 36. Yeah. That's pretty fucked, honestly. Like, at that age difference. Because also, he hadn't even done Kick Ass yet. That would have been just post, even pre Angus Thorne's Perfect Snogging. Yeah, they like met on the set of like a Lennon film. I just don't like Lennon. Um, okay, whatever. Anyway, I actually kind of, now that we've spoken about it, I now love celebrity Halloween costumes, in all honesty. <laughs> I think I mainly love the, the bad ones, but then there's also like another layer, which is like the super, well, it's like the offensive ones, but, like that. Um, but there's also uh, the like hyper-realistic um, celebrity Halloween costumes. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is, Crazy, like so. Obviously, it took her ages to get into it. Yeah. Also, I think the thing about Halloween is like I have lots of thoughts about Halloween. Like we spoke about it before, but if you're someone who is inherently quite sexy, you should probably play on that. You should probably play to your strengths, and you should probably wear something sexy. That's rude. But look at any. Well, I guess you said that. Um, Marshall is sexy, so I guess that doesn't prove that point. But still, I think that just because you're sexy doesn't mean you can't go as something kind of fuggly for Halloween <laughs> and the one. I guess just the thing is, is it limits her range of movement. I mean, she got behind the deck, so actually maybe it's a lot. <laughs> That's her behind the deck. How would you DJ as well? I don't think you would <laughs> DJ. I don't know if that's like the idea, but I think that she just sort of was positioned herself on the red carpet and was just like, you know, roll to from do you think Seal rolled her? And she's still with Seal. No. Really? Yeah. Okay, Sylvie, who's the number one hater of Halloween? Um Christian? No 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 no. <laughs> they, 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 who is like the person who is like hates Halloween for like kind of personal reasons, but like she was Claudia Winkleman. Yes, Claudia Winkleman. Okay. Phew. Guys, Claudia Winkleman's daughter wore a same well, we don't know what to block. I think it was Sainsbury's. I mean, let's call out Sainsbury's. And we're saying allegedly, I mean, not would Mr. Sainsbury's be listening? I mean, probably. Or Mrs. Not. Or Mrs. I don't know. Um, she wore a supermarket Halloween costume, her daughter, and she got lit on fire, guys. Lit on fire. She yes. lit. And no, she was lit. Like 10 years ago. She fully lit that way. I, I don't think she was even that hurt. But it prompted. Miss Winkleman to go on a sort of like anti Halloween, specifically anti cheap Halloween costume campaign. I love Claudia Winkleman as well, so like I can't even lie, like I'm kind of with her. Do you watch um, the It Takes Two? The what is that? You know, the, 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 the Strictly Come Dancing on oh, show. No, I don't watch Strictly. I Either. watch her present the traitors, which is really good. I didn't watch that. And I watch her like head and shoulders up, but sometimes when I watch it. So. <laughs> Which, by the way, is a scam. It yeah, does. Sure does I, yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, and I don't know, I just heard this from a friend, but it does not get rid of that rub. I don't know if you said that. Like, it definitely does. Where's the friend? Yeah. <laughs>
maybe. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, love Claudia Winkleman, shout out to her. Love Heidi is the word as well. Even though she has done some sort of like fairly um offensive. Yeah. But then she's also done some kind of good ones. Like she did one where her skin was like completely reversed. Oh my god, all the one where she went it was like there were like eight of her, all the one where she went it's all Heidi. That was kind of good. Yeah, that was good. That was like um the film. X. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What's that? Yeah, what's that? She's like the old lady. Hello. Um, I guess also the thing is, um, oh shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. Something hilarious, obviously, but I forgot. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. On to the next. Boom. <laughs> okay, this was quite controversial, I think. Do we have any Snapchat users? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be shy. Yeah. It's all. Uh, this isn't a hateful environment. Okay. <laughs> So we do, okay, so you just admitted that. I hate Snapchat, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm sort of of the opinion that like, I'm not 14 years old, and I say this all the time, and by that sort of level, I'm also not a nonce. So like, I'm not gonna use a children's app. It's true, if we wanna talk about like, nonces using Snapchat, um, guys, who knows who Paul Bridge is? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 I know who he is. Infamous TikTok basically paedophile. We don't know that he's a paedophile. Oh yeah, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. I think he was just like taking photos. Oh, I think he had a baby with some year old. He did, his baby mama. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. His baby mama. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, he had to make a TikTok clarifying that there are fake Snapchats impersonating him. Really? You guys, you're on Snapchat, don't accidentally add a fake Paul Breach account. I don't really yeah, make sure to. I remember we were actually watching Paul Breach's live stream on like three different phones um, on New Year's Day. Yeah, full yeah. memories. It was, yeah, it was a great time. And that was actually while well, we didn't even realise he was going through some sort of controversy. Um, but we were just like watching all kind of, that was something about some photo video. Yeah, photographer, not a good, not a good. Uh... Okay, another thing. Yeah. How are you going to be like, a I'm assuming like 20 year old human and have a bit emoji. I think that is so embarrassing. It is true. Oh my god. Also, it's just like, I guess the act of having a bit emoji isn't inherently embarrassing because you probably made it when you're like, what, like 15, 20, yada, yada. The act of going in and editing your bit emoji to make it photo realistic to your current <laughs> self. It's crazy. Yeah, and your current style as well. I love that. Yeah. Also, I love when you see people who clearly made their Snapchat like usernames when they're like 14. And yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Because it gets really embarrassing. That's kind of me. Oh, also, part two of this one, we've got Snapchat filters. I'm going to go with, again, not necessarily a hate. Bit of a love. Like, bring them back. Like, remember the good old days where it was just socially acceptable to post a selfie, like, with a Snapchat filter on? When? Oh. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> that's that Sylvie, by the way, in case you didn't get that one. God, it's such a, like, hypnotizingly horrifying photo. <laughs> I know. It's so grey. Like, also, you've really got that 2016 makeup look, which I love. The thick brow, the highlights. I think it's. I think you're kind of working it. You look like 40 years old or so. Yeah, I do. I thought I was giving Kendall in that photo. Like, I thought we were wanted. I remember. Sorry, I remember that Kendall Jenner photo like yeah. so clearly. Like it was literally yesterday, love. Yeah. And like I remember her posting that, and literally like the world stopped. But no, it didn't. But. It was just so insane. Like, how are you going to post a photo? And this was like, by the way, guys, sorry, the Kendall Jenner photo, she posted that like on her grid on Instagram. Like, she really? stood by that photo and said, I'm going to post it. Damn. But yeah, I can bring it back. I can't see a difference in those two photos. I really, I thought they were the same person initially. Damn. Yeah. Make them boom like that. <laughs> oh, another thing, actually, this is a hate is um, when people on dating profiles use Snapchat filters. That's really weird. Because I can't see your real face, for one, and also, yeah, it does just confirm to me that you do use Snapchat, and I just, I, I don't know, to me that's like almost an immediate turn off, sort of. I, I'm not super into it. 
Yeah, I agree. I couldn't be into that either. I no. think it's just a bit weird. Fair. Should we move on? Yeah. God, I wonder if we're going quite quickly. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> EDM! <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. really weird. I, not really weird, like, as in, oh, 
Wait, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I meant they were appropriating a religion intensely. Like they went to India to get married when neither of them was Hindu. They well, actually she grew up Mormon. We saw how it ended, so in divorce, but I mean. <laughs> True, and now Russell Brown's just a podcaster. A grey bearded podcaster. Do you think we could ever have Russell Brand? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just don't think we'd agree on literature. He's, he's the kind of person who's really anti this kind of thing because he's all about like, love is so important. And he's not American, but you know. But he's like, love is so important. <laughs> <laughs> and he's but all like, about- What my name for? Yeah, and he's all about like, entrepreneurship. And it's always like, oh, you don't want to be in the St. Trillian's film. They actually want to be But he is an entrepreneur in the St. Trillian's film. Yeah, that's true. So maybe he's saying he, he, to act like one. Method act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To joke yeah. start, like, into being an entrepreneur. I guess maybe we should actually start the Batson thing we were supposed to be talking that's about. That's true, yeah. Maybe we should do EDM. that. EDM. Um, what are your thought of sort... Thoughts. Thoughts. Thought of sort on the, the old American raid. I uh, no, so I was going to put American Rave in there because I really went through quite a like deep dive hole into like the American Rave and TikTok side, and like it's really strange because not only do they do that stupid looking sort of Fortnite style dance, have you seen it? Like, really, yeah, 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 I'm not going to do it. Um, but they also have this weird thing about like bracelets and stuff. I don't. Have you seen that? Yeah, and it's all about like giving. Again, it's kind of Russell Brownie where it's, it's all Russell about like, love, peace. And they and always have like headdresses as well. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh no, but they like the girls never wear like they wear like like no clothing. Yeah. And that's like key to it. I don't know if it's key to it. I think they just like maybe do that. Yeah, okay, true. But I do know what but you But it's mean. kind of messed up that like women are forced to wear like no clothes and like the men can't wear what they want. Yeah, did you see that whole controversy about the, the girl who wore that like really like skinny leotard? No. Oh, uh, no, it was this whole thing where people were hating on her because they were like, you must have edited that photo. Because literally like the leotard was like this big. But then she came back and was like, I'm defying the haters. And it just turned out she was... She had like nothing. She had Not nothing there. Really yeah, exactly. Bigger. Yeah, just like completely nothing there. Okay. That was quite a weird sidetrack, I'm not going to lie. That was, yeah, we should circle back. I also found the one of the man who really looks like Mika. I originally thought it was Mika. Not oh, really. The, the thing that he does, sort of. I've seen the Mika wax figure in Paris, so not really. Wow. <laughs> I'm two swords in Paris. <laughs> Is he French? Does he have a... I think he's Swiss, but his songs are performed in... French, if I'm correct. No, I used to listen to like Mika's OG album. Oh, if he's Italian, I don't think he's Swiss, he basically speak like five lines. He presented um, Eurovision. Yes, he did. And That's like, true. I'm really sure he used to present like the, all the judges, like The Voice Italy From, or something. Yeah, Voice France or something. Oh, no, the Voice Swiss. Oh, I wonder what he means that guy. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, that was meant to be like a gift to get a raver. The hat, the hat there. I literally wouldn't wear the hat. Actually, maybe I would wear the hat in a sort of campy, like funny way. In an ironic way, you were going to wear the hat. Maybe. I do think though, I do have this like theory in my mind that sort of the um, the EDMification, but also um, infinity print leggings, it's all going to come back. Yeah, I think that's very much true. Like, I know that I shouldn't be the one kind of giving fashion advice, but I really feel like it's it's going to come back hard. Because, like, Y2K has come and gone, and now where are we at? Yeah, that's true, that's true. What if we brought back, like, 2016 fashion? Like, skinny jeans, and, like, people always seem to wear basketball jerseys, and, like, Miley Cyrus's, um, Miley Cyrus's, um, Miley Cyrus's era, the 23 era. Yeah, the 23 music video. Which was Jay's on my feet. so good, Jay's on my feet era. Oh my god, I would love that. I don't think I'd partake, but I'd love to see it's it. It's like a very expensive, like, fashion cycle to partake in. You know what I mean? Really? I think that outfit looks kind of shit. It will, yeah, because it's not, like, looking shit, but costing loads. Yeah, that's true. It's like the row. And it's that look Oh my god, that's so crazy. Okay, well... Oh, oh yes. I forgot this one, I thought we were at the end! Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay guys, so, one of these three people
people is, is the real, real person. So we're just going to say the name, and the, if you think they're the real one, you have to do a little bit of a clap, a bit of a cheer. Make yourself known. Okay, so we'll start with Ed Sheeran holding a Tango Ice glass. Do you think he's real? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He looks pretty like real. Yeah, yeah come on the front room. Okay. okay. Simon Cowell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, what, uh, I think you're wrong. Uh, Michael <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> what if I told you they're all real? They're not actually. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Cowell's the real one. His face is melted, people. <laughs> Also, he broke his back on a swagway in Benidorm, which is kind of like true. And that. survived. And survived. And not many people survive breaking your back. What do other people do? I know someone whose mum has broken their back twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, it seems awful. Oh my god, also, I guess we need to talk about the whole Tango Ice Blast fake celebrity impersonator endorsement. It's literally the worst. I don't know if you guys have seen these ads, but Tango Ice Blast, who are like the last people that need adverts because they're in every cinema, like everyone knows what it is. And it, everyone loves it, it's literally so delicious. I had one last week. Yeah. And <laughs> they like get fake Ed Sheeran, fake Gordon Ramsay, and there's one, who's the third one? I can't remember. Um, It's fake Ed Sheeran, fake. Yeah, there is another one. Okay, okay, whatever. And they get them to do the advert, so they're getting celebrity impersonators to sell you Tango Ice Blast. Like, you're more inclined to buy it from real Gordon Ramsay. Also, they're never in an Odeon. They're always in, like, a um, Nautilus or something. Like, they, it always feels so uncanny valley. Like, it's so strange, because you've got these celebrity impersonators with fake Simon Cowell as well. Yeah, that. oh, sorry, fake Simon Cowell, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's there. But that is, that's real. That's real Simon, Simon Cowell. Cowell. But yeah, for some reason they uh, Tango Ice Glass like fully back celebrity impersonators. Which is so weird. Like, I just feel like I need to get inside their marketing strategy. I need to change it from the inside. But maybe they're just supporting a small business. Because when you think about it, I feel like celebrity impersonators is kind of a dying art. Also, who the hell is like looking to fake Simon Cowell for their birthday party or <laughs> fake Gordon Ramsay? At least fake Michael Jackson can probably perform. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it was the girl in Benidorm. Yeah, we were talking about like such an iconic TikTok of this girl who is scared of Michael Jackson and there's a Michael Jackson impersonator behind her and she is screaming and crying. <laughs> she's about 20. She's quite, no, I think she's like 25. Like she's a fully adult woman who's crying at a Michael Jackson impersonator. To be fair, I think I famously remember when Michael Jackson died. I was in year two. And um, I do, I did find him very, very, I was in terrifying. I remember my siblings used to use Michael Jackson as like a threat. It was like, get out of my room, or Michael Jackson is like, gonna come and talk to you. But isn't that kind of weird now, like playing off the whole like? I still find it scary. I'm sorry. Even when we were like, uh, oh yeah. Well, I mean, we're not gonna get into the whole finding Neverland thing because like, that's kind of um, a bit deep. But even when I was googling for this, I got a bit of a chill. <laughs> Just researching normal Michael Jackson. Also, I love this. Michael Jackson because it's so obviously like taken in his house. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got things with Michael Jackson you've got to commit. You can either be white Michael Jackson or black Michael Jackson. They <laughs> aren't And this guy has definitely chosen white end of life. Although his skin is very, very smooth. Also, you've got to have the nose contour just right. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so do you think like Tango Ice Blast got the idea from Michael Jackson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so they just like put it on like a pillow and they were like, this is what we're going to do. Like, I don't know if it was like a thing that they did in like the early 2000s, but I feel like they would have to get your nose sort of like smashed in and yeah. then reconstruct it. Yeah, 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 that's like what a nose job is. I've seen videos of it. No, you're right, actually. It's yeah, so like they could it. give you the Michael Jackson, like, thingy. Yeah. And do you think people are out there doing that? Maybe. Or do you think people are getting like four headline surgery to become fake Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, true. Or people are getting whatever thousands of surgeries to become Simon Cowell. <laughs> people are getting their faces ripped off and pinned back on again. People are going. Looks like he's had that. People are going on segways in Benidorm, oh, and breaking their back, breaking their back just to commit. Because you could method act technically if you wanted to be a really good celebrity impersonator. That's 
ask me at all. Oh shit, oh I'm sorry. We sat in a long. Wait, no, 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 we still got five minutes. I feel like it's fine. Oh, okay. I thought you want to. Are you going to turn off the actual. Sorry. I thought we'd bring one from home so we wouldn't have to go on iPhone, but she bought iPhone anyway, so I mean, what are we supposed to do? Also, I just wanted to ask if someone said that they were going to marry you, if you say you can find someone to marry you, I don't know. But they could be in this crowd, people. But, and then someone said, I'll marry you for free. But they were a celebrity impersonator. Who would you want it to be? And also, like, would you say yeah? I'd say yeah. Um, I feel like you want a high ROI. Like, obviously, you kind of want to pick someone that's attractive, but also someone that's kind of funny. So I don't know why, but the first person that came to mind was Phil Mitchell. He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so I just think that would be so funny to have like wedding photos and your groom is Phil Mitchell. Or like the Daniel Day Lewis, even though they have to be really good, I think. Like, if you've got someone who's an actor, you have to really get them like fully. Yeah. I guess maybe Drake impersonator. I'd probably marry that. I don't think there are any Drake impersonators. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not becoming a oh, no. impersonator. No, 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 no. That would involve a lot of surgery. Yeah, no, that's true. BBL. BBL, they <laughs> said. Yeah. Okay. Boom! Boom. Okay, so this is technically the end of our show. Cool, didn't, that, didn't time fly? That did actually fly. It did fly. Like, yes. five minutes. Also, we have infected Spotify, and unlike Chlamydia, it can't be. <laughs> that was right. Chlamydia can be cured. Yeah. I don't know. Just, I just want to shout out to people who have been here. Not that I, but uh, no diss to people who do. I'm just not in, you know. Anyway, you can listen to us on Spotify and you can also listen every Sunday on Fresh Air, 7 to 8, the rest of the semester. And then, provided that we pass our exams, guys, we're going to be back next year. Yeah, for season three. Because we're currently in season two. I mean, we're barely in season two. We've only done one episode. Yeah, that's true. And next week, we're going to have a special guest. And I think the title is going to be... Are we? Yeah. Okay. How to find love at a sex party. <laughs> we haven't asked him yet, but I think that I don't think we might have that. Yeah, I think that actually... Okay. <laughs> We've never been. Well, our guest, maybe, allegedly, us. might be able to help us out. Anyway, we just wanted to say, finally, we just wanted to say thank you so much for giving yeah. literally the two most annoying people on the planet platform. I know. I hope you guys have like tons of fun tonight. I know we did. Yeah, we had a great time. Uh, thank you also to Alex for doing our tech and for not turning off the mics because we're so insufferable. So, that was great. <laughs> um, yeah, please listen to the radio show. Even guys, just, just, just scroll to the end and give five stars and stuff. Yeah, we don't even have to listen to what people like it, but like, just give it five stars. Yeah, they're really cool. That's our matters for some reason. Anyway. Um, We've had tons of fun. Yeah, this is our best platform possible. We think so. Live, in person. That's been amazing. And. God, I can't think of anything else to say. 